I think the um, there are there are lots of lots of uh, traces one can one can follow there. Uh, first and easiest is of course when the record is put on put on at the end of nausea, and there is something about the listening to the record and the being in the moment that gives hope is too strong a word for anything in nausea, but a, an understanding of something else. Uh, it's a key point. Um, and of course, pre-war period and post-war, American musicians are flooding across from the States. Jazz is the thing, uh, has been really since King Oliver launched Louis Armstrong. Um, Louis Armstrong then moving forward um, right through to the kinds of music that is really hitting France at that point in time. Jazz itself, with uh, the improvisation, as you, you know, as we talked about earlier, the improvisation, the being in the moment, the performative, and also it's got a a, a relational aesthetic. Um, it's the you had to be there when he, when he she did this, sang that, played this, uh, a, a rapport with audience, a being in the now. So in a way, it is a conjuring up, in an otherwise mediocre, bureaucratized world world uh, a kind of collective being aware and being awake now of course this the existentialists borrow that more borrowings the existentialists borrowed that from the surrealists it's the surrealists and Andre Breton who were there first with that um, Breton's manifesto surrealist manifesto um, it's not certainly not absolutely not about you know pay, painting a fish on a bicycle it's 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 very much um, opening up to the throbbing surreality of life. And of course, that's reflected also in Nausea, where Sartre in the park is the viscous and the palpable disgust him. But there it is, alive, and you can't, you can't look away from it. Um, those, those things are very important, important for the, for the surrealists. Um, and the surrealist poets, it's important to remember they're often forgotten I think the greatest surrealists are, are the poets and of course they're inheriting that from the symbolists it's a very intense uh, reawakening we get that in the film uh, Sean Andalou of course uh, Dark by Dali and Bunuel where it starts with a slicing open of the woman's eye and the audience just goes Pff. it's a bull's eye of course but they don't know um, um, and of course, that what that is is an assault on the viewer's eye. It's a wake up, and then the 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 fall into surrealist Freudian uh, metaphor and metonymy. That that is that film. So the the wake up call came really from the surrealists, I think, um, and uh, and that's I think as a as important as a factor as as the existentialist notion of of being that so so jazz is bound to be in there because it seems to come from nowhere and the improvisational thing of course there's a continental uh, tradition of jazz cafe de, uh, Grappelli and Reinhardt are playing Hot Club de France um, in fact, the Americans are coming over to see Django Reinhardt play as the, the great Euro European gypsy uh, guitar god. But then, of course, the gypsies have also got that thing going of, you know, living in the now. <clears throat> and that's been, that's been there uh, since romanticism of otherness, of difference, of distance. And it's a problematic aspect, I think, of French culture, the exoticization, and it is that. Of course, Josephine Baker exemplifies that. I don't know great performer, dancer. Um, she for them is amazing. Problematic insofar as what we would think now because that straightforward, this is so exotic, so different, this problematic category to, to apply to, to black peoples. But for them it, it is that. Um, exotic, different, in the now is very much, very much that as well, the living in the now.